Job chapter 34. Then Elihu continued saying, Hear my words, you wise ones, and listen to me, you knowledgeable ones. Doesn't the ear test words as the palate tastes food? Let us judge for ourselves what is right. Let us decide together what is good. For Job has declared, I am righteous, yet God has deprived me of justice. Would I lie about my case? My wound is incurable, though I am without transgression. What man is like Job? He drinks derision like water. He keeps company with evildoers and walks with wicked men. For he has said, a man gains nothing when he becomes God's friend. Therefore, listen to me, you men of understanding. It is impossible for God to do wrong and for the Almighty to act unjustly. For he repays a person according to his deeds and he gives him what his conduct deserves. Indeed, it is true that God does not act wickedly and the Almighty does not pervert justice. Who gave him authority over the earth? Who put him in charge of the entire world? If he put his mind to it and withdrew the spirit and breath he gave, every living thing would perish together and mankind would return to the dust. If you have understanding, hear this. Listen to what I have to say. Could one who hates justice govern the world? Will you condemn the mighty righteous one? who says to a king, worthless man, and to nobles, wicked men. God is not partial to princes and does not favor the rich over the poor, for they are all the work of his hands. They die suddenly in the middle of the night. People shudder, then pass away. Even the mighty are removed without effort. For his eyes watch over a man's ways, and he observes all his steps. There is no darkness, no deep darkness, where evildoers can hide. God does not need to examine a person further, that one should approach him in court. He shatters the mighty without an investigation and sets others in their place. Therefore, he recognizes their deeds and overthrows them by night, and they are crushed. In full view of the public, he strikes them for their wickedness, because they turned aside from following him and did not understand any of his ways, but caused the poor to cry out to him, and he heard the outcry of the needy. But when God is silent, who can declare him guilty? When he hides his face, who can see him? Yet he watches over both individuals and nations, so that godless men should not rule or ensnare the people. Suppose someone says to God, I have endured my punishment. I will no longer act wickedly. Teach me what I cannot see. If I have done wrong, I won't do it again. Should God repay you on your terms when you have rejected His? You must choose, not I. So declare what you know. Reasonable men will say to me, along with the wise men who hear me, Job speaks without knowledge. His words are without insight. If only Job were tested to the limit, because his answers are like those of wicked men. For he adds rebellion to his sin. He scornfully claps in our presence while multiplying his words against God.